Hello and welcome back to Idle King Defense. Um, today we are on wave 966, so let's see how that's going today. So I do have the five warriors, I do have uh, seven supports, I have one more support slot to unlock. They're just sending tons of these troops, this is probably the worst troops you, you can encounter from the other side in the game. There's nothing to stop them. You can't taunt them off. They're just going to beat on the castle, and they just keep coming. Unfortunately, my warriors are um, distracted. Not really focused. Oh, oh, at least Blake went and picked up the boss. But we're taking... The castle's just taking way too much damage. And it was close, but we're still not strong enough. So you know what we're going to go do? We are going to go upgrade. Now, we did actually make sure to already take care of the archers earlier, bought all the stuff, upgraded all the gear. There's really nothing to dismantle. I actually, And I am, uh, at this point in time, starting to save my, my steel up. <clears throat> and I will explain that later. But let's go to the fountain. So we have... Wait, we do have some quests to complete. And I did already do the portal. So let's get our freebie rewards. And let's see. So as far as gear goes, 1037. We are close, but I think that's a good spread of gear that we can go ahead and summon. So we will be doing some summons and some ultra summons. We have, wow, wow, we, we have um, 11, yeah, 11 ultra summons today. So let's get to it. Mason, nothing special. You don't really expect anything good. Logan, from these, another Logan. Eh. Xavier. Love to see some Xavier shards. Really love to see it. Would like to see four star... Oh, this is bad. I would like to see four star more... Oh, Jackson. Well, Blake. Blake is actually pretty good. Evan. Okay, let's go. Um, Randolph. Yeah, you're nothing special. Blake, that's okay. Xavier and Blake. Eh, not bad. And Diego. <laughs> Diego, we don't use you. And Ryan. Uh, Ryan's interesting. I'm not going to... And Carlos. Uh, probably not going to be upgrading Carlos because he's B tier. And we also get Julian shards. So that is really interesting to get some of those four star shards. Austin. Uh, we're not likely going to be using him. Okay, Luke. Definitely can get behind getting some Luke, sh Luke shards. Let's do another. Um, nothing special. Another? Hmm. Nothing really special. Asia, Blake, I mean, Luke, but nothing amazing. So I want to get some four star. Ooh, wow, that's going to be a ton of Blake shards. They, they really... Ryan, okay. They really want me to upgrade my warriors. That's what they're telling me. Three, four... <laughs> four complete warriors? Are you kidding me? I guess they don't like that. Oh, Chris. Wow, look at this. We got four complete ones. We got Julian. We got Roderick. And we got Christian. That is a super summon. And this was Adrian Shards. I must have clicked too quickly. Adrian and, and Evan. I actually was planning on just filling in the last spot with Evan. Okay, we are out. So let's summon some gear. I'm pretty confident we're going to get that last castle slot today. We only needed a little bit more to get it. Come on, give me some greens. That was at least better. I'm going to probably save some of these. Because we are pretty close. Now let's do one more. Let's see where we're at with the oh, seven day event. I did claim the rubies. Let's see where we're at with the daily heroes from the fountains. Good. And again, I did actually go through and clear the portal already. It was very easy um, because of how advanced I am since then. And that's also partially why I have 16,000 rubies. So, okay. So, oh, oh, we haven't purchased from the general store. All right, that's fine. We'll, we'll go to the, to the general store in a second. All right, well, we've completed the weekly, so that's nothing. Oh, reach stage 800. Okay. 900. I didn't see those rewards earlier. 
Okay, here's the Win Legion of Terror, so you can see how I won all these. I did these off stream because, again, this is basically click, win, click, win, click, win. With how strong my team is and the fact we've only ever cleared one wave, there was really lot, not a lot of detail to go into. However, I will use these to get some additional Ultra Summons in because we got three more from this. So that'll be 12 today. Ooh, more Xavier Shards. I really want to see those. Oh, wow, a whole Xavier Summon. That's amazing. And more Roderick. Okay, that's interesting. And more Ryan Shards. Not going to ever complain about that. And more Lucas Shards. That's great, because we're actually using Lucas. All right, and we will... Oops. We'll go use this free summon. Luke, Luke Shards. I'll never complain about Luke Shards. So the Event Dungeon... Oh, I didn't do these. All right. I didn't realize I unlocked new ones of these. That's fine. We'll do these. These won't be long. I am a little bit behind today. It's um, about 45 minutes between reset, and I do have to still do two videos. So I'm trying to be kind of quick and kind of focused on how we go about this. But grabbing these extra Ascension Stones at the end of the day is always something you want to do. Because, like, for example, today I actually got up to Wave 966. And even though we lost on wave 966, look at all this additional stuff it unlocked. And this will make my sweeps even better. So again, no nothing really special. The gold mine waves are, I would essentially say they're freebie waves. Really not much special about it. Uh, and especially with how, and, and this is without even me upgrading after everything, but again, I got all the way, oh, I didn't realize, oh, did not realize I had so many of these to clear, but that's okay. We we did have a really productive day because we went from wave 658 last night, and we went all the way to wave 960, we went up almost, we went up 308 stages, which is crazy. I call them waves, I mean, they... they they call it stages. I can. I, I don't know why. My mind just sees this as a wave of enemies, and you know it just increments. I, I, just the way my mind works. All right, so we'll sweep the rest of these because we're definitely not going to get any other stages in today. And again, this is why you want those seven tickets. So if you have a great day like this, we went all the way down, and then we were able to sweep. If you only had two tickets, you would have to do this tomorrow because we did three. We did do three different levels, and we'll have some more here. And this is also going to be great because this is going to give us even more fuel for upgrading. Upgrading, very important. Yeah, I did want to get an earlier start today, but I did not. I'll probably try to get an earlier start tomorrow. But it is good to collect all this stuff right at the end of the day because as long as you collect it, you're not going to be missing anything. You're going to get the optimal amount. So I don't know if we'll get to Spectre, Spectre's Ruins 11. We'll see. But again, you know, this it's always great to get further here. This is, this is a great way to advance your heroes and get stronger because you'll get all those extra Ascension Stones. And this is even... Now, they aren't really doing mu as much damage as the Wolves did to me, but this is a nastier level with all those Catapults. I really don't like Catapults. They sit there and just wail on my castle, and we can't really stop them. Unless we crowd control them. Oh, one more. And this, this, for, this today for me was the Legion of Terror. Legion of Terror from the Portal is one of my favorite legions, because it gives you extra hero summoning. So I was really happy to have those 10 Portal tickets, get all those extra summons in, and we're going to see who we can promote today. I'm excited. I'm hoping we can promote, promote Xavier a bit further. I would like to see him get... I think he's going to be the first hero we get to Uncommon. Assuming we get enough shards, but that's because he will be a tremendous help at Uncommon. Oh, wow. This is, this is closer than I thought. All right, we will sweep the last four tickets, get those extra Ascension Stones, and Hill of Heroes. This is going to make the video a little longer than I wanted it to be. I meant to have this done. 
the, the problem is, at the end of the day, there's just so many different things to do. And that, that sometimes I just don't get it all done. It's okay. It happens. I did actually spend a lot of time today farming wave, um, I believe it was 960. I was farming that wave. I think we're going to have tons of gear to give to our heroes and tons of... Um, and I know we're, I think we have almost 100 million gold to spend today. So I'm really... Now, while everything is getting more expensive, I am trying to do my best to make sure I bring in the maximum amount of gold so when we go upgrading, you can really see a dramatic difference in the strength of our heroes. Clearly, if you're playing this game on your own, um, you could do upgrading more incrementally. You could get a lot more stuff. So, I mean... And that does kind of bottleneck me, because I guarantee you I could be higher in waves, but I'm sort of bottlenecked just by how I approach this to make videos. You know, because because basically, you could basically um, set your phone up at night, get your waves done, wake up in the morning, take all that, you know. Again, I'm up pretty late. I sh I'm up pretty late. Um, I have, uh, I, but, um, you know, I'm up right before reset to uh, get, you know, get all the summons and stuff like that done, but but you could do this a lot easier, you know, wake up, do it. I've actually considered uh, doing that, like splitting the video in half, like um, just waking up, upgrading, coming back, upgrading some more, but uh, I didn't really like that idea. Let me know if you think that's a good idea, if I should split, like, come in, upgrade, do like an interim video, and then make another longer video later after upgrading them, just to see how much further they could go. Okay, let's see, Event Dungeon. Okay, Event Dungeon's cleared up. Let's go to the General Store, because apparently I didn't purchase anything today. We'll always buy those scrolls. And since we're at the end of the day, we'll grab this. Grab this. I, I do like Luke, but I don't like that price for Luke. <clears throat> Portal Shop. I am starting to get a lot more portal shards, so I'm going to just go ahead and buy everything. I don't know how viable this is right now, but we're going to roll with it. I have plenty of portal shards, so why not? If anything, I would say don't buy the gear seals, but we're going to do it. And the ruin shop, we're definitely getting those Daniel shards, and I'll do it. I'll, I'll buy Asia, but I'm not going to buy any of the other. Okay, even more Daniel shards, and we do have enough to pick those up, so we will get those. And our last daily is more summons, so let's go summon. And we got one more ultra summon, that's nice, and we get Tristram, that is great. Like to see Tristram and Carlos, not so great. Carlos will be getting replaced shortly, but Xavier, always happy to see him. Okay. I don't want to do that. I do want to go to the castle first because I do want to level up the castle and get the castle to 60 so that we can place our final support hero, which is going to be Evan. Evan is a great hero for slowing and stuff like that. And now we are going to give him some gear. I need to kind of see where everybody's gear is at. Okay, so everybody's five or four star gear, so we would be promoting gear to, to five star. Let's auto combine to five star. Now, some people have asked me, why do support heroes for example um evan have hit points and defense because they're not taking damage like warrior heroes and the reason i i say this is because the gear is shared between both hero types and the gear does give him, like for example he wouldn't need dodge or move speed because he just sits there but they didn't want to make a set of gear for support heroes and a set of gear for warriors so there's one set of gear and that's why. 
Yeah, same thing. Like the armor gives defense, and I thought something gave gave health. There there was a health bonus or something, but but that's why. Okay, so for upgrading, oh, we definitely you know 100% gonna upgrade Xavier, and I think I'm gonna be one shard away from upgrading him again. Let's do it. Upgrade Xavier. It's a no-brainer. And we need to see one more shard, and we can upgrade him again. And I'm going to hold off on leveling me, because I know I need to at least get Evan up to 500. So welcome to the team, Evan. You're going to get a big boost starting out. And he is very good with his slow. He's very great. He's uh, very good at the end game too, because you can use that slow to really prevent people from getting to your wall. And also go ahead and knock Asia up to 500. And so everybody's 500. Okay, and we can promote Luke. So you know what? We're definitely promoting Luke. And I'm going to show you with this promotion why Luke is so good. So this is 40%. Now we're going to promote Luke. And now it's 80%. Doubled his buff. It's crazy good. And that buff works for every one of your support heroes. And Tristram, I, you know, I'm definitely going to, he, he is, I need to get him up one more level, but definitely going to buff him because his buff will work with Luke's buff. They stack. It's incredible. All right, let's see. I mean, okay, I don't have anybody else to summon. Yeah, we still don't have... You can see outside of the ones I got lucky drawing just straight up, we haven't really gotten many S-tier heroes. So... And again, if, you, if you're... Some people have asked what heroes are good. You can see which ones are good. Luke is good. Tristram's good. You can see the ones I don't promote. Most of the A-tier the A heroes are good. But that your experience will always vary with what heroes you draw. I have been extremely lucky with having both Gabriel and Lucas come really early. So with that said, let's get him, let's try to get to 600. I don't know, let's see how this goes. Oh, we're going to 700 already. Yeah, it's fine. We'll go to 705. Everybody else will go to 600. I have no qualms with doing that because it's um, Xavier. Wait, does, it, does everybody have five star gear? Yes. Did I auto combine? Okay, we're we're actually auto combining now to uncommon one star gear. And let's see if we have enough of that to go around. I imagine this. Okay, we're starting to get to uncommon gear. So go ahead, Luke. Lucas. Okay, now I'll take that off, Luke. Who am I gonna put that on? Yeah, I guess I'll put it on Lucas. Tristram, and again, you always want to kind of level your heroes up evenly. I did give Xavier more levels because I know he is a very strong hero from all my experience with him, so that's why I have no qualms with going a little bit above and beyond with him. I'm actually going to be start maxing these guys out. Oh, that was a little high. And I know I do have a lot of Ascension Stones, and you can tell I'm being very conservative with how I spend them. Because, and it, it does it does cause heroes like uh, Carlos and Jackson and Brian to kind of lag behind a bit. I'm still on the fence about Brian. I heard good things and bad things, but um, the good thing is he is powerful in the early game because he buffs your warriors. But the bad news is because of how strong Luke is, his buff really isn't that useful long term in the game. So, you know what, let's just dump the rest on Xavier. Okay. Alright, so we've done the general store, we've done the blacksmith, we've done the heroes. I'm not worried about runing. I do need to do runing offline. I've collected probably quite a few runes. And we're not going to do any other ascension right now. The rest of this majestic amount of gold is going to go right into the castle. And look at our beautiful army that we have. Okay, we went up probably over 300 levels, so that's going to be a big boost. And the one thing I forgot to do is the ruby shop and the upgrades, 
So you notice we have all these gems. We are actually going to go upgrading. So I'm going to max the auto battle gold. And then I'm going to max the... And I'm going to put the rest in the metals for ads. Okay, so this is this is max, 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 max. So as you can see, I'm not even on my seventh day of playing. And I have already been able to max almost all of these. And I'm just going to get some more medals. Um, medals per ad is more of a convenience thing, so I just won't have to check on the game as often. All right, so we cleared portal. Let's go to the expedition. And we're, we're so close to being able to spend rubies here for extra expedition tickets, but not quite. So let's see how this goes. <clears throat> oh, I am going to have to wrap this up pretty quickly. We need to get to King's Ruins. Hmm. It is later than I thought. I was hoping I had a bit more time. So we might just end up sweeping the dragon after this. In fact, I think we will just sweep the dragon after this. Ooh, Ascension Stones. And Xavier. If we get those Xavier... Damn it. And we can't spend it. Not yet. So we're just going to sweep because it already it is later than I thought it would be. Need to try to get those Ascension Stones right there. Well, that's Asia. That's okay. Haven't upgraded her yet. I'm on, we may upgrade her later. Nothing too special here but the stones. And I got Logan. Gold. I do like... <clears throat> I do like doing... Oh, we got Ascension Stones. Damn it, gold again. I do like doing this, because this Dragon of the Abyss... Ooh, Summoning Stones. And Daniel. I would like Daniel. Get Soul Stones instead. Uh, that's okay. I do like doing this on stream, though, because, again, you never know what you're going to get. And from what I've heard, too, is the rewards are... There's like a hierarchy of the rewards and stuff like that. It's kind of interesting. Basically, it, the, your next... Oh, yes! Okay, that means we can ascend Xavier again, and you know we're doing that 100%. 100% going to turn around and, and ascend Xavier. That's why we. That's why I kind of save those extra ascension stones. Ascending Xavier is just like a mandatory thing. And... Ooh, 216. Okay, that's nice. All right, I would have liked to push that a little bit further. I will try to make the video a bit earlier tomorrow so we have a bit more time. Or at least I can pause it, go do things offline. All right, so with that, we are going to ascend Xavier. And he will get a new skill of extra cavalry weapon stats. I don't know exactly how this works, but I, I do know that 80% is bigger than 60%, 60 so I like that. Anything to make his cavalry tougher, especially since we have two more of them. Okay, so we did the expedition, purchased the portal shop, leveled our heroes, our castle, and we, we did defeat the dragon. So let's throw a bit more levels on Xavier. Oh, okay, that was more than a bit more levels. Oh, because I got some from... Okay, well, that's good. That's good. I have no problem with getting him up to 800. He's going to be tough. And another castle level, which means we're going to complete another castle level quest to get more more rewards for more summoning. But these would just be little summons. N nobody exciting yet. Luke. Never complain about Luke. Nothing, so nothing too exciting. And let's pump this into Xavier. Two more levels. And finally, let's empty. We can't even buy a castle level. Okay. So the last thing to do is King's Run. I, I'm sure you knew this was coming. And this is still three-star stuff. So again, I'm getting four-star drops. And this is three-star, so I should expect this to be very easy. Now, this is the pattern that I noticed on my other account. Is that it starts out with these cannons. Now, if we see the artillery in the next one, this will be the pattern that's fairly similar to my other account, which has me really curious. Uh, how, I, I don't know how these patterns cycle. Because this is, I would consider, like, obviously we didn't take much damage here, but I would consider this a harder pattern. Again, cannons again. So, 
again, this is a this is a hard, a punishing first two rounds. But with our troops and how strong they are, um, they're doing really, really well. We did really just buff them. I'm, I would, I I would not be surprised if we got to. Oh, I don't know how high we'll get to. But we'll s maybe wave twelve hundred, maybe twelve hundred. Okay, so this would be a Sophia wave if we had Sophia. So this also, I feel like, is fairly similar from the other King's Ruin I was doing, the pattern I had before this. So I don't know if the pattern is controlled by your advancement or not. Because this pattern I found much more difficult. Um, what made this pattern more difficult was you had a really punishing first two rounds. Now, in this case, it didn't really punish us at all because we are growing so fast and we have been so lucky with the heroes we get. It's sort of a feedback loop. We're able to clear so many levels because we're able to invest in heroes that are really good. Some of it is just knowledge, though. Like, I know how good Luke is now. So when we have a decision of can I level... I have, you know, all those Ascension Stones. And the question is, do I want to level Luke? The answer is going to be yes because, you know, you saw how more, much more powerful it made him. His uh, buff went from 40% to 80%. So, you know, when he, when you see that, uh, I think it's the blue flame is Luke. When you see that on everybody, you know they're hitting really hard. And then on top of that, Tristram's buff is going off, with, which makes everybody attack faster. So that's why I really like leveling both of them in tandem. And the reason I try to do them in tandem, like I level Luke up and turn around and level um, Tristram up, is because it keeps the duration of their buffs equivalent, and it also lets them both get stronger as well. Because I because I have seen um, people's play th playthroughs, and even though Luke is not ability damage, I, I I think Luke has really Luke must have really good attack growth or really good attack speed or something, because Luke actually does a lot of damage even though he's a single target hero. Like he's not AoEing the field and tearing it up, but he still does a good amount of damage. It's not like he's down there like, like as much as I like Gabriel, <laughs> since his entire um, ability revolves around just buffing the archers, his damage output is actually really low in comparison to the other support heroes. But because of how much he buffs the archers, the archers do so much damage. So again, this would be a great Sophia wave, not that it matters for our team, because... Oh, oh, they finally have scratched the castle. And I think I think we can attribute a lot of this just to how fast I'm growing and because of how lucky I got with the heroes I got. That said, I've spoken with a couple other people who were confused when I said King's Ruins gets hard. And most of them were around wave 1600. So, and again, I can't recall exactly when I felt like, oh, wow, King's Ruins really went up in difficulty. But this, I know for a fact that this is the pattern that made it go up in difficulty. But I can't say when it went up in difficulty. I can't say if it was a I beat it so many times thing and it went up in difficulty. Because there was actually one day that I lost so badly. And I was, was so unsure of how King's Ruins actually worked. That I actually stopped at, I stopped at like wave 12 and said, you know what? It's not worth spending 300 rubies to heal my castle if I don't get the 800 rubies. And with how hard the last wave, the the last wave I completed was, I didn't know if I'd be able to complete the next wave. So I actually called it quits early. I sh I'll, I'll be honest, I should have pushed for it. I thought that like everything else in this game, the difficulty goes up when you beat something. You know, that's how Portal works. That's how the expedition works. So I was so I wanted to do an experiment. If the difficulty only goes up when you beat something. If I don't beat King's Ruins, will it be easier the next day? And it didn't seem like it was easier the next day, but it d certainly didn't seem to be harder. So I can't really say. Now, I will say that that was because I didn't have a lot of good luck with ST. <laughs> like, the luck I've had with this account is silly. I have three ST heroes, S tier heroes already. All of them are pulled, fully summoned. I did not have that luck with my main account. I was using mostly A tier heroes. So, you know, Evan, Evan, Ryan, Aisha, um, Blake. That's partially why my Blake was so promoted, because 
I didn't have anybody else to promote, and I was really struggling to figure out who was good, and at least I was like, well, you know, Blake at least has a knockup, and, you know, he's his crowd control is actually good, comparably good to the S-tier heroes, so it, it wasn't like a loss to upgrade him, but it was it's a testament to how our, you know, my experience and your experience are probably going to be extremely dif- different with the game. And just having bad luck at Heroes can really change how you play the game. Now, fortunately, we are just rolling through King's Ruins today. <clears throat> so this has been very favorable to us. And again, like we are just doing so much damage. And I assume it's because I increased Luke... That Luke is just helping us light everybody up. And that was another thing, too. I didn't level up Luke early. I thought he'd be good. But I... I when I read his tooltip, I'm like, there's no way. There's no way they're just going to let him buff that much. Because that would mean if you have eight support heroes. And he doubles everybody damage, everybody's damage. And he's only one-eighth of the team. That if he doubles everybody's damage, and even if his, his damage is terrible, he, he becomes mandatory. Because he's so good. And I mean, it's the same thing we found out with Tristram. They both are so strong, that they basically become mandatory. Alright, so we're going to grab the buffs. Um, yeah, we really did a lot of good leveling today, because this was very easy. Okay, so we're going to have speedy archers, and the enemies are going to move 20% slower. So this will be interesting. Not really, we're probably just going to melt it. I could have not used the buffs, but hey, who doesn't use buffs? Buffs are good. Everybody enjoys buffs, right? Use it or lose it. So this was a level that this so this is a level that could be a lot more difficult in the future if everything has more hit points because, you know, they are sending cannons at us and we know the cannons are no fun. But um, due to due to how well we've upgraded everybody, we just went right through everything. All right, so that was King's Ruins. I mean, again, very simple. This is like Wave 900. It looked like it was even easier than that. Let's grab our quest. Okay, just the daily quest. And I am going to go to the Ruby Shop and upgrade. And I want these extra medals because, trust me, I want to watch fewer ads. All right, so I'm just going to pump this into Xavier. I have no qualms with just working again. Oh, 777. Okay, he's our lucky guy now. And empty this into the castle. And we'll go back here and we'll start the battle. And we have so many auto progress medals now that we have actually, we're actually under the cap now. We were above the cap, now we're under the cap. And again, that's a testament to how easy it is if you spend your rubies wisely to end up with tons of rubies, get all the permanent buffs, and as soon as we max this, we just have 4,500 more rubies to go. So as soon as we max that, we will be spending rubies on... I will show you how you can spend rubies on discretionary spending. And of course, with how much upgrading we did, we went right through these guys, we showed them who's boss, and we're ready to go. Now we did get some stuff for the archer that is a 5-star wooden arrow and a 5-star helmet. And the game was not nice with the rating of them. But I guarantee you they will still be better when we enhance them four times. And like magic, we've upgraded the archers, so now we have a 5-star bow, 5-star arrow, and a 5-star helmet. And the 4-star stuff is all S-tier, so, any, so anything 4-star or less, we can just dismantle. And you will notice, once you start getting 4-star gear, that's when the game starts slowing down. Because now it'll drop 4-star gear and 1-star gear, to kind of slow down how quick you can accumulate things. Very unfortunate. Very unfair. But like I said, we're saving up our steel for now. And we have beat stage 966. So again, I will let this run and auto battle. And when we get to the next difficulty, I'll make a new video. Um, thank you for watching. And I hope, uh, I hope you like this video. Please comment. Please subscribe. And again, if you want to see any different strategies, anything like that, please let me know in the comments. Somebody did request a conquest video. So 
I will. This is where I'm at right now in Conquest. I will be doing a special video on Conquest only, and I will I will post that in the strategies playthrough, and I will I will let you know when that's done. So again, uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day.